Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add last refresh date to your dashboard. So let's get started. On the home tab, click on get data and then click on blank query. So once this window pops up over here, click on advanced editor and then I'm going to leave a code in the description of this video. You simply need to copy that and replace the entire code over here. Okay, so what this code is basically doing is it's adding a new table with date time as a column in that and then it's refreshing whenever we refresh the table and then click on done. So once you've clicked on done, you need to rename the table here. Let's call this as last refresh. Okay, and then close and apply. So once you've done that, you'll see a new table here that has been added by last refresh. And then let's click over here on these three dots and click on new measure. We're going to add last refreshed, last refresh date is equals to values of last refresh date last refreshed column. Okay, close the bracket and press enter. So once you have done that, you simply bring in a card here into your dashboard and then click on the measure that we just created. So in the first instance, you might not see the time as well here. All you need to do is click on this measure over here, go to format and change this to whole number. So once you've done that, you will start seeing the time as well. Now, if you now let's make some changes to this uh, so that it is rightly formatted. Uh, and then we'll go to the format tab data label will change the color to white and then we'll drop the size here to 10 and Likewise, we will do the same for category label and then we'll drop the size to 10 and We'll turn off the background. So once you've done that you can simply put this Card over here. You will see that we have last refresh day now Let us refresh you need to refresh this particular table click on refresh data and then you will see that the you'll you've got now the latest time here on this particular visual so this is how you add the last refresh date and time to your dashboard i hope this video has helped you you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials